Record? All right, this will probably be pretty short. I am not messing with this engine anymore. I went to the machine shop this morning. I talked to him for about 40 minutes. He was an engine builder machine shop. And he said, look, it's under warranty. I would just assume, instead of we keep throwing parts at, at it, just, I don't have room for the whole truck. Pull the engine out of it, bring it back up here to me, and I'll make it right. He said, it's under warranty till like December. There's no need for you to be doing this. You know, it's, it's his issue to deal with, is what he said. He said, I would rather you bring it back up here to me and let me take care of it. I said, okay. You know, this is the first one out of like 14 that he's built me since 2007 when he built the first small block for me. He's done it. He's done the big block in the El Camino. He did the big block in the S10. He did both the big blocks, the 402 and the 496 I had in the S10 in the beginning, the iron-headed engines. He built uh, a small block for me, 441-headed small block for me that was in the S10 before I put the big block in it when it was a four-wheel drive set up. He did a V6 for me for a family member's car that I put in and out. He did a 30 over 350 with some 416 HO 305 heads and a little Summit cam in it for a little rat rod that was also a family member's. Uh, I can't count them all. I mean, I've slept since then. But he's built all these engines and I've never had any issues other than this and a valve guide on my wife's which was like a well uh, over a year later and he took it in the whole car up there tore it all apart fixed it put it back together and didn't blink an eye okay he's always been right by me i've sent him a bunch of work you know other people up there you know he does good work he's known for doing good work and he just simply said look it's under warranty just bring the parts you got bring them up bring the engine up, we'll go through it, we'll check it over, make sure nothing got hurt in it, which you'll always want to look one over. And he said, then we'll put the game plan together when you bring it up here, what we're going to do. He said, I would recommend putting a little bit bigger capacity pan on it if you're going to run a high volume pump in it, which I would recommend a high volume pump. That's what he likes to put in everything. Uh, so we're going to change the pan, get the four quart pan off of it. And I said, you know, if we can knock them spot welds off and pull that pickup tube out and clean it up with a Dremel, which I've done before with a new oil pump a couple of times, I said put a new pickup tube in it, use a deeper pan, go for it. If not, I'll spend whatever for a pump. I'll spend $150 and put a Melodon high volume, high pressure in it. I don't care at this point. I just want it right. My wife's the same way. She said, I want it right. She said, I'm tired of seeing you fighting and messing with it. So I just... I, I thought about it over the weekend, and I'm just like, I was up there this morning, right after he opened. We sat down, like I said, we talked for about 40 minutes about this, and I showed him video of the S10, you know, because he built that engine, and he hadn't seen it run or anything. And uh, he said, just get it yanked out. He said, because, again, he didn't have room for the truck. Trying to push this big bastard in and out, that's hard on anybody, and I don't want that on somebody. I mean, this truck ain't light. It don't roll that easy. And uh, plus, I don't want something to happen to it up there, okay? Even though it's lots fenced in with a six-foot chain-link fence and cantina wire on top of it, I still don't want something to happen to it. It would not be unheard of, you know, somebody tried to mess with something. Because these assholes, if they can't steal it or steal parts off of it, they'll vandalize it. That's just, uh, they're idiots. So, uh, probably won't get to it tonight, the way things are looking. I'm waiting to go pick the grandson up from the other grandparents. I really figured I would have done that by now. It's about quarter to six, 5.30, quarter to six, here Monday evening. Wife's off tomorrow. I'll probably get up, I'll probably work tonight on it late and get it stripped and then we'll get it ready to pop out tomorrow because it don't take much to get this engine out. I'll get the core support out of the way so I ain't got to pick it up and over it, tape the fenders up so we don't scratch nothing up, 
and then uh, pull it out, take it up there. And then he did say he was kind of busy, but being that this is an issue from back when, he'll fit it in and get it done and get it back to me. But he was going to put it on a run stand this time and run it to make sure everything's good. Because I said, I don't want no fucking noise out of it. I mean, link bar chatter, that's one thing on lifters that happens. A lot of people think, oh, I got lifter noise. You got link bar chatter. That's normal. The little... That's normal. Uh, but... This thing, I don't know. It ain't valve spring pressures because it's 130, closed and open. And I've run flat tappets and broke them in, you know, on 120 and 290. Hell, I've run a roller on 120 and 290, a very mild one. But he going to fix it. It's under warranty. There ain't no need to argue about it. Let the man do it. So, you know, I like to do shit myself, but. Because the old analogy is, if you want it done right, do it yourself. But when you've already paid somebody to do it, they're wanting to fix it. They're wanting to make it right. I'm going to let him do it. So. That's where we're at. I just thought I'd make a video real quick to share that with everybody. That the engine's coming out, going back to the builder, going to get fixed. And it's going to come back home. And we should be all hunky-dory. In the meantime, I'm going to get a bunch of other shit done to it. I need to get done to it. The exhaust finish welded up. The upper shock mount braces put on it. Square body guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, fix the leak on the output shaft. Front output shaft on the transfer case where it's leaking between the splines on the yoke and the shaft. I got the little gasket that going behind the nut and washer for it. We're going to take care of that. Finished the interior, put it together, headliner, eight pillar trim, snapped all that back on, clean, detailed inside of it up, fixed the lock cylinder that pushed out the driver's door, which I really love taking OBS doors apart. They suck. And figure out why the clip popped off of it. And then hopefully by then the engine will be ready, be back, we can get it put in, get the hood, the grill, and all that shit put on it, and start driving the damn thing. Oh, yeah, and get the windshield guy out here and get the windshield replaced. So, that's where I'm at. It's going back to the builder. I'm not fucking with it no more. So, everybody stay safe. God bless. And until I video us pulling this turd out, boat anchors what it is right now. That's it. Later.